guys and welcome back to another video on my M2. So I wanted to do a dyno run of the car before going stage 2 for two reasons. The first being to just ensure that the car is healthy and honestly to satisfy my own curiosity but more importantly to be able to track the gains once the mods and the stage 2 tune are in. The dyno run was done on a Dynojet dyno in Vision Autosports in Sunway which is where a lot of similar cars do their dyno runs so I thought it'd be a good baseline as there are lots of comparisons that can be made to get a better gauge if needed. Of course, everyone knows that there are so many factors to a dyno with some dynos like the Dyno Dynamics dynos being coined heartbreak dynos because of the lower numbers that they read. There are also lots of variables involved for example, the temperature during a particular day and how the car is set up by the operator for the run. At the end of the day though, the focus is not too much on the specific numbers but in my case, the gains going from stock to stage 2 so the most important thing is to do the before and after runs on the same dyno with the closest conditions possible. Before going to the numbers that we got, a stock N55 M2 on paper has 365 horsepower and 465 Nm or 500 Nm of torque on overboost. This will be on the engine or crank numbers. As a slight caveat before revealing the numbers, the dyno jets are one of the more uh, generous dynos, so they read a bit on the higher side. So what do you think the numbers are? Please pause the video here and comment below on how much power you think So we did 3 runs as usual and here are the numbers. The best run was the final run, I believe it was done on 4th gear which was 352 PS or 347 horses and 559 Nm of torque on the wheel. This of course means it's a bit more than the rated horsepower on the engine, probably close to 390. As a reference, Autobus dyno the A90 Supra on the same dyno some time back and it did 332 PS and 490 Nm on the wheel. The numbers do look okay from what I've seen online, though the torque numbers do look slightly high. Either way, I'm pretty happy though and can't wait to see what the stage 2 numbers will be like. I've got a VRSF charge pipe, sports cat, and upgraded intercooler going in really soon along with a boot mode tune so subscribe for more content on the M2. A shout out to Kev from MYF Motorsports and Henry from Vision who helped arrange all of this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.